Recently, we sowed some mustard. And it's come up in no time. So what I want to do now is move some of those little seedlings into individual packs so we can grow them on bigger and quicker. So I'll just fill this pack up and then we'll get some pricked out and planted on. We just need to firm it down then. And because I've got quite a lot of these packs, it's so easy to just get a few together, press it down and then we can compress every cell all at the same time and then just top it off. I don't know why I'm doing this in greenhouse today because it's actually sunny and I've just insulated it and the thermometer is reading 106 probably should have done this outside to be fair but we shouldn't moan about temperature we shouldn't moan about it being hot because before long it's going to be very cold so enjoy it while it lasts and I'm just going for last at year's tan. So now just make sure the compost is well watered. It makes it a lot easier to get your seedlings in that way. And I'm not taking everything out of that container because we're going to grow them together as a bunch. I just want a few individual ones. Then I'm going to make deep holes. Every time I plant on seedlings I like to get them as deep as I can. We don't want leggy plants. And as I take these seedlings out to pot them on, I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer so you can see what I do. Just in case it's the first time you've seen me do this. When we're actually taking the seedlings out, it's always best to select the bigger ones by just digging in like that and then easing them carefully out at compost making sure you've got some roots with it and there's another good size one so we'll take that as well but don't really pull on these top leaves or you'll break them off because they're the first leaves of your plant and you really need those so I'll just carry on carefully taking a few out Even if you only get that much of a root system, it'll still work. So don't worry if a bit breaks off. And that's a nice size one as well. And it's got a really good root system. So we've got six. And you can see that it's really quick and easy to do and again a really good root system for a tiny little seedling so the rest we can now leave to grow on the next part real simple shake off as much of the excess compost as you can and then we carefully poke it into those pre-made holes using a pencil and we're going to push it right down like that. That's going to make a really healthy, stocky plant. As opposed to when they first come out and they're quite long and straggly. So, quick and easy. In, press it right down then fill in around edges like that. Once you get anger doing this, it takes literally seconds per cell. So in no time you can fill that and you've got 12 new seedlings that you can grow on individual. And the process is exactly the same for every seedling that you do. Bury them really deep, firm them in, and 
then you're guaranteed to get good quality plants. And that quick, it's done. With barely no effort at all. 12 brand new mustard plants. And now they can stay in that pack for quite a while. I've grown lettuces up to five inches tall in one of these cells. Make sure you label it as well because you will forget what's in there. Just one other thing. Once you've done this, make sure you bottom water them because if you don't, you'll squash your plants. So just pop them in a watering tray like I've got. Add about an inch of water to it and then let it just sit for 10 minutes or so. You'll see the compost change in colour as it takes up water and then after 10 minutes you can take it out or if you've got quite a few in a permanent tray just tip out the excess and that way your plants not only will not get knocked flat at soil but if you've got them in greenhouses and you water them on top the heat from the sun will burn those leaves and then your plants will be no good. So always bottom water, no matter what. And before you know it, you'll end up with nice, healthy plants like that. I hope you enjoyed that little video and I hope you come back to see what else we do in this container greenhouse that we're determined to use to grow fresh, homegrown vegetables all the way through autumn and winter. And if you want to see how these plants get on and what else we're going to sow and grow, then please just hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell and we'll see you at next update. You all take care and thank you very much for being part of this channel.